This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham and I've got Danny Corbishley with me and you are from the Perth, oh, Studio Theatre Perth. Yes. Thank you very much for coming here. My goodness, we've had a little conversation. You have <laughs> been all over. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your history too because you're the director of a play right now. But let's talk about what you bring to the table, which is amazing. Um, well, I studied, uh, I started actually in Ottawa studying dance at Canterbury High School. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Second graduating class, I then went to uh, New York City and I studied at the Mu American Musical and Dramatic Academy. Um, because musical theater is just, it's my, it's my passion, it's my lifeblood. Um, and then I decided that um, I wasn't gonna go into professional theater, mostly because I wanted to eat. <laughs> and so I've been working in community theater basically my entire life now. Okay, so what kind of plays have you been in before? Oh, so oh. <laughs> uh, some favorites. Talk my about favorites. Some. Let's see. I my one of my most favorite roles was Snoopy in Your Good Man Charlie Brown, uh, and another was uh, Sister Robert Ann from the Nonsense Musicals. I actually oh. did two versions of the Nonsense Musicals, um, and then uh, for direction and choreography, I did a wonderful. I had a wonderful cast a few years ago with James and the Giant Peach in Ottawa. They were just absolutely brilliant. Um, I've had a chance to work with some incredible performers of all ages, and now I get to do the same thing in Perth. So I'm a very lucky person. Uh, so you're a choreography, you've, you've done drama, you've done acting, and now you're doing directing too, so you've done yes. it all. I don't do anything on the stage management side, and I'm not a very good musical director. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're not a good musical director, but you can dance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this play. It's called Working. What's it yes. about? Okay, so Working is actually from a book by Studs Terkel in, uh, in the 70s. Studs Terkel did, uh, was an interviewer, and he did uh, interviews all across uh, America, uh, people talking about their work. And then it was turned into a musical in the late 70s. Um, by Nina Faso and Stephen Schwartz and because of the way it's done it's a compilation of vignettes of people talking about their work so they were actually able to bring in other phenomenal um, <laughs> writers like um, James Taylor and in the new iteration that we're doing Lin-Manuel Miranda you know <laughs> people like that yes, little, they... Mary Rogers you know Little people like that to you may have heard of them <laughs> to, be, to work together on this on this production, and so basically it's a production of twenty six different characters talking about their work and how it affects their lives and um, and who they are basically. And I mean, you're saying there's twenty six different stories, but I think you only have a cast of seven. How, a, how is that? How are you doing that? We have a cast of seven, um, and each vignette you'll see how the characters will change from from being a basic worker into the character that they become. Okay, okay, so they come out and they talk about their working lives. Talk, sing, dance, all oh. about their working lives. Excellent, excellent, <laughs> excellent. Okay, so I, I, you're gonna be directing this. Yes. Um, you know, when we talk about you directing choreography, what's your favorite? What do you like doing out of all that? Oh, I love it all. You love it all. I love, you it, love it, it all. all. Okay. Um, I, as when I was younger, I didn't realize that um, that being in a director in a choreography position was going to be as absolutely fulfilling as it is. Because let's face it, when you're a performer, you love applause. <laughs> um, it is just the thing you love. Um, but I'll tell you, every time I direct, every time I choreograph, every clap that each one of my cast members gets. I get. So now I'm getting applause, not just for myself, but for every single person up on that stage. It's so addictive. <laughs> I, absolutely. I can understand that. I can understand that. And I mean, speaking of everybody up on stage, your husband. So this is a family thing you're doing too. It is a family thing. Absolutely. Um, Dave is, um, my husband Dave is, is actually a fantastic performer. Uh, we, we were very fortunate and that's uh, actually how we met was through musical theater. Excellent, excellent. Now let's talk about the other seven cast members, or is there other yes, six? Please. He's, cause he's other six, yes. There's six, okay. Are they new to the theater or? So we have um, some people who are brand new to musical theater, some people who are brand new to Perth Studio Theater, and a few veterans, um, but mostly it's a very fresh cast. 
So uh, we have two people that come from Ottawa, Diane and Sarah, and then we have our locals, Claire, Zach, Sarah Jane, and my husband, David. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they, and they, they, they have never worked together before as a cast. So that's all we, that was really good too, to watch this group of seven people form a team. And get the chemistry. And get the chemistry, exactly. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So Studio Theatre Perth too, I mean, they come in here, it seems, every few weeks with a new play. So uh, how long have you been putting this together? Because it, uh, it just amazes me how quick that you guys can move on to the next one. We auditioned in December. In December? Yes. Okay, because your, start, your starting dates are like February 9th, I believe. We start in a week and a half. Okay, so that's all it takes. I should say that's, <laughs> that's all it all takes. It takes. I, it's the memory work, I think. It you is know? a lot of memory work. It's uh, a lot of working together um, and a lot of individual work. Um, they, the, My cast is fantastic that I can say you have to take this home and rehearse at home and then bring it back for next rehearsal and have it done. And they do it. Because I'm sure they must have jobs or things they're doing other, you know, they this do. too. Jobs and school and all sorts of things, yeah. So I'm doing a bit of math here. You, you auditioned in December, December, January, so pretty much two months you put this together and yeah, about the, show, two months. the show is on. About two months of three rehearsals a week, yeah. Okay, okay. So what's more exciting to you too, opening night or the grand finale night? Oh, opening night. Opening night? Opening night. Yeah. Um, I'll be honest. Grand finale night usually has tears involved. <laughs> oh, yes. Absolutely. I it's hard to let a good show go. But we're not doing that yet. No. We haven't got there yet. No, no, no. No, you've got quite a few performances coming on, too. So it starts February 9th? February 9th. February yeah, 9th to the 19th. That's it right. runs Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights, and Sunday matinees. Okay, so it's February 9th. Uh, yeah, February 9th, you've got eight shows. So it's eight shows. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've got nights. You've got, and it's running for, is it two weekends? Yeah. February 10th, 11th, 12th. So lots of opportunities. Lots of opportunities. Yes. Okay. So how do you get tickets? Oh, you go to ticketsplease.ca. <laughs> okay. Very easy. Yes, very easy. Yes, absolutely. The tickets are only $27. Uh, a little disclosure about the, the... Disclosure, it is, although we still have Student Rush, mm -hmm. uh, it is, uh, there is a fair amount of mature content in it, including some very strong language and some talk of adult situations. Okay. <laughs> that's all you're going to say, right? You've got to come and see that's the That's about show. the best that I can give you is that, you know, be prepared for adult conversations. All right, all right. And is there any uh, COVID restrictions anymore? Masks? People can wear masks if they want to? They can yeah. wear, absolutely. Anyone yes. can wear a mask if they want to. We're not going to force anyone to wear a mask. We still highly recommend because, uh, especially since we're hoping for very large audiences, uh -huh. um, <clears throat> we do recommend masking. Uh, especially as our lovely singing cast, who are all very healthy, yeah. <laughs> are going to be singing and singing actually really brings that, that, that um, air circulation through. So um, I recommend wearing a mask, but if you don't want to, no judgment. And you really are a theater too. You're not just performing at a, at a hall somewhere. Oh, no. So the acoustics. The acoustics are actually quite lovely in yeah. there. Mm -hmm. It's uh, just under 200 seats in the theater. Okay, I was just going to um, ask you that too. Yeah. Many? Yep. And, uh, and the acoustics are quite lovely. Um, we have a, a brand new sound tech as well, another brand new person coming in. And he's, we've been working the sound lately and it's sounding so good. Yeah, I, I, you know, and we, we got to mention that too because we say there's seven characters up on the, on the stage, but like yourself, you're the director and behind the scenes, and there are so many people behind the oh, scenes. Oh, absolutely. Lightning, lightning, lights, lights. sound. Lights. <laughs> Don't forget our wonderful musicians. Mm -hmm. Uh, our musical director, Brent, is actually uh, playing keyboard for us. So, um, yeah, it's, it, it's a very large project. <laughs> takes a village. It takes a village. It does. That's right. That's right. And it's called Working, and it's a Working. musical. And uh, it starts on February 9th. You can get your tickets at... Tickets, please. Tickets, dot please. CA. That's right. Really easy. Can you get them at the door too? You want to you take a chance? You can absolutely get them at the door. They always always reserve. Even even if it's sold out that night online, give us a call because we often have about 10, 15 tickets at the door for anyone who can't purchase online. 
Excellent. Excellent. Oh, we appreciate you coming all the way from Perth today and taking time out of uh, putting this play together, too, because, my goodness, what's the next play? Do we know what the next play is yet? Or uh, are you so busy with this one? I so. believe the next play is The 39 Steps. Okay. Um, which will be followed by another musical, uh, Nonsense. Oh, really? Oh, yes. That's, yeah, that's great, too. And That'll then there will be more and more and more. There will be. But uh, this year, we decided to put up uh, two musicals instead of one, so... Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. You'll be involved with that one, I'm sure. Probably. Ah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Film at 11. Hi, baby. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming. How long have you been with the theater? Uh, actually, you know what? We moved out to Perth two and a half years ago, and a week later we joined the theater. I was just going to say, you, we got there before the grocery store, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like it. Kind <laughs> of. All right. So I'm going to try this again. Danny Corbishley. Corbishly. Corbishly. I, I will get it right because you're, no you're going to come back. So <laughs> thanks for joining us. Thank All you the for way having me. Studio Theatre Perth. Thanks for coming.